pleasure to have you once again on the link this week. Perhaps some of you um, are on holiday, a public holiday today. And uh, we are still here to give you information that you can use and opportunities. Tonight we are doing a bit of both opportunities but also information that you can use. And today we are speaking about not a new subject. We have spoken about this before but time has passed and we bring it back to refresh you. This is Forex trading. And I have the right person in the studio to explain to us dynamics around this subject, Mr. Isma Sawankambo. Uh, he's the proprietor of FX Kampala. They are Forex traders, but I also uh, do training and consulting in this space of Forex trading. Isma, welcome. Oh, thank you, Sam. Good evening, viewers. We don't have a lot of time normally, so we go straight out to the question. Please, this please. animal called Forex trading, how does it, what is it, first of all, and how does it work? Okay, well, I would say, First and foremost, yeah. Forex is basically buying and selling of currencies. Okay. But then there is a misconcept with the online trading mm. and the physical trading. Mm -hmm. Now, once it comes to online trading, let me start with the physical trading. Mm. With the physical trading, you literally go to the Forex Bureau or bank, any entity, yeah. you do the exchange. So I have the Uganda shillings, you have the dollar. Yeah. So I'm literally buying the dollar with the Uganda shillings. That is the physical trading. Okay. Now, once it comes to online Forex trading, we're literally looking, it's first of all, it's online. Mm. It's online business. So you're going to use the gadget, internet that you have to trade. Okay. So literally what we do here, we're looking at different economies. Mm. Because for any economy to exist, it has to be with the currency. Mm. Now this currency is affected by so many factors that can be social, political, economic, uh, and also affected by the factors of demand and supply. Okay. So these ones literally affect these currencies by, car it's actually their characteristics. Mm. The currencies have a characteristics of changing in value. Okay. So we who trade online, we take advantage of those changes and affect by, due to the fact that these are probably affected by these factors. Mm. So for us, we come with the strategy. We come with the methodology mm. then uh, that can be technical, sentimental, mechanical, or fundamental. Okay. Then we take advantage of such moves because they have helped us to tell that now we should buy or we should sell. So okay. once a currency increases in value, mm. for us we will detect it intellectualize and we buy it when it's at its low point. Mm. Then as it's gaining point, uh, as it's gaining value, we are making money out of that. Okay. So that's how we basically make money trading forex and that's the forex by description but then once it comes to that mm. uh, when you're trading for you as you're buying you literally there is something that you're selling mm. because as you're going to the forex bureau there is one currency that you're buying and, you're and then there is the one that you're selling yeah. fantastic now we call this a pair yeah. so they made this pair they are standards they made these pairs in the way that once one is gaining, the other one is losing. Mm. So which we call as a correlation coefficient. Okay. So they have a negative correlation. Mm. So once I'm buying, like I've done my anticipation that is intellectual, mm. then I'm buying, as I'm buying, there is literally I'm selling something. Mm. So for us, we take advantage of the increment and decrement in prices. Yeah. So the we margins. make, definitely, mm. we make money out of that yeah. yes so, uh, i know we're in class now so, mm. so uh, you said pairs yes what yes. are some of the pairs just for for Ooh. me to know yeah. okay for pairs mm. we have pairs like euro usd euro you and you, the dollar definitely mm -hmm. then we have nzd usd new zealand dollar and US, united states dollar yes mm -hmm. then we have usd jpy usd and the japanese yen yes mm -hmm. then australian dollar US dollar. Mm. Okay, we have a couple of them. Okay. So these are some of these. All right. Mm. So when I come with my shillings mm. to you, mm. Mm -hmm, what happens? Now, I'm not, like I've told you, the shillings is going to be the capital here. Yeah. We are not exchanging. No. Yeah, we are not exchanging. Mm. So for us, we are taking advantage of the increment in prices. Mm. So as the prices go up, for us, we are making money. So if I have shillings, yeah. I have to convert Actually, to one of those. Now, what you do, mm. you deposit the shillings yes. on the trading account. Uh -huh. That's the shillings. Uh -huh. So the shillings can either be converted to the US dollar or it remains in shillings. Okay. So this shilling is now going to work as your capital. 
but in dollars yes mm, mm, i get it so it's going to work as your capital that you're going to use mm. as your trading okay because it's the shillings that is going to help you make money mm. at the end of the day in shillings in shillings mm. then you can always withdraw this money you can either use bank okay you can use uh, mobile money you can use any type of gateway or payment solution okay yes doing this expectations people say i come with my money i went with my money to these guys and my money was <laughs> Hey. <laughs> is mm. it important for me to manage my expectations? What is the big deal with expectations? Now, first and foremost, mm. I would not recommend anyone to take their money being traded or managed by any other person. I would mainly recommend someone to trade by themselves. Yeah. Learn the skill and trade by yourself. Yeah. Otherwise, what literally people do, they, they will say, Isma, give me, Isma, I have this money. Please help me manage this money. You've given me cash. Mm. Do I know whether, whether Isma will put the money on the trading account? I'm just trusting you. Now, you're trusting Isma. Mm. You don't know how trustworthy Isma is. So I may not recommend this. Mm. I may not recommend this. The most important thing I would recommend people is basically to learn the skill. So I'm like, when I come to you, I like you, you are going to just teach me how. Yes, I'll, that's what I do. Okay. That's my job. Mm. I mentor you. I tell you. I tell you that according to the markets, basing on this factor that can be social okay i'm looking at the uh, order block i'm looking at the ichimoku kinko hayo where i will look at the taking sen kijun sen sukuspan s sukuspan b because of this now mm. let's buy the dollar i wonder what those things are that you were saying <laughs> eh, yeah. but you will teach me those things <laughs> yes like definitely I'm okay. definitely okay. Mm. i'll be humble to teach you these things okay so the expectations in the forex market one i'll tell i'll tell someone that the business itself yeah uh, it's a business first and foremost. It's not a place where you just go and pick money and make money. Mm. No, it's a business. In the business, we have both good days and bad days. Mm. Okay. So as you're trading, there are times whereby you will probably analyze the markets with your technicals, your fundamentals, and you realize that you expected the dollar to gain value and suddenly it loses value. Mm. So that's why we recommend more of risk management when we are trading. Okay. With risk management, we're looking at having an edge over the market, a positive statistical edge over the market. Edge over the market, what's that? Now, with an edge of the market, mm. interesting, mm. with an edge over the market, yeah. regardless of the losses you've made and mm. the profits, you have to make sure that I make, I have a positive end. We, despite los losses and uh, gains made, mm. I am on the gain side at the end of the day. Definitely, mm. profitable side, mm. yes. Okay, we are still on expectations. Mm. Therefore, when mm. I'm coming to forex trading, mm. what's the frame of mind I should have in terms of expectations? Some people come and say, ah, I'm in the chorus and I'm going to make a lot of money. Is, mm. that, is that okay to come with that? Yes, it's okay because mm. it's a business. Yes. But then, first get to know the business. Uh. Get to know the insights about the business. Get to know the fundamentals, the basics about the business. How does the business operate? Mm. Then, at the end of the day, the moment you happen to get all this, then you're going to make money. Okay. It's as simple as that. Do your homework first. Get Definitely. to know how they do it first. Yes. And learn. Isma, you can help me do that. Learn. Come and learn okay. from the right people. Fantastic. Okay? Yes. Now, mm. um, people fear things, forex trading, mm. cryptocurrencies and such. We are mm. talking about forex trading. Mm. Is forex trading, people, people uh, fear forex trading as a possible scam. Mm. How do I know? Okay. I am playing with the fire. Okay. When Amazing. I come to encounter mm. forex trading. Amazing. Now, what people should know yeah. is this. Forex is an online business. Mm. First of all, it's vulnerable to scam mm -hmm. in relation to the other businesses. What do I mean? Mm. With forex, you don't know the person to approach. You don't know when to get the skill. Other people will approach you online, tell you give us money. We manage this money like the scenario I've just told mm. to you. You can easily give someone to money and someone walk, walks away with this money. Yeah. So it's highly vulnerable as compared to the other businesses. Mm. So the platform or the business itself is legit. Mm. It's legit. Two, with the forex market, you can easily make money. But there is also the losing part. Okay. So that's, that's something that 
people should know it's before. a given yes so you can easily make money because look i'm making money with my laptop yes i make because so many people out there have laptops mm. have computers they're just watching movies they have internet they have phones but then they're just us using this to abuse to abuse people on social media to do here things that uh, you know that are not making are them not profitable money. yes mm. so this is a business that can easily help you make money so my point here is that uh, the business uh, someone can easily scam you yes why because it's online I don't know if the person that I'm approaching is the right person. So how do I know the right person, Isma? How do you know the right person? Mm. So at least I would say, before you give someone money, money. Which, I don't, which I don't recommend, okay. make sure at least this person has an address. Okay. Say so FX Kampala, there's uh, their offices. Where is your office? Our office mm. is in Najanankumbi. Office Kampala, Najanankumbi where? Najanankumbi, Stella. Stella Naja Nankumbi. Yes, yeah. the building is called Naja Shopping Center. Okay, yes. now you have a f an address, uh huh? Yes, so you reach office, mm -hmm. then two, make sure that as you go on social media, you're looking for this person, check for this person, has he been in the business for the past five years? Mm. Because if someone is a scam, then they have just come into the business. You get it? Mm. Then thirdly, check for the repetition. Mm. Uh, fourthly, look at the content someone is releasing. Is, this, is it just hyping? Is he talking of things that are technical? Okay. To confuse me. To confuse you. Mm. You, you know, the technical things. So usually, some, they don't explain the technical things now. Mm. We're looking at someone who is helping you talk about the technical things and they literally make sense to you. Mm. You know, some people are doing Forex, but then they can't tell you what Forex is. Okay. Mm? What are the technicals? Can I, you know, that this is, there is another block here. Mm. Can I know that there is liquidity here? And you help me understand that. Otherwise, you are just confusing me. Definitely. Mm. Yeah. So, scamming is easy here in this business. So, most importantly, if you want to avoid scams, don't give anyone money. Okay. Okay. Uh, just learn the skill by yourself. Learn the skill and do the trading by yourself because with this skill mm. you don't basically need uh, you don't need any qualifications no you don't need any qualification whether you are a businessman you can have this on your phone whether you are um, uh, in your office you have a job you can do this yeah. whether you are a student you can do can this side business yes mm. so you can do this any person can do this business okay because as long as you learn how to do it you know how to do it okay yeah thank you very much Mr. Isma Sawankambo, uh, viewers, Mr. Isma Sawankambo is, uh, he's called a millennial. <laughs> I, 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 Sorry, what is millennial? <laughs> yeah, millennial, uh, anybody below uh, 35, oh. uh, between 27. Um, he has been telling us about forex trading. He recommends that you learn the skill. Please don't just give money to somebody, but learn. And he is a teacher to that end. We hope we added value to you. Uh, maybe Isma, before I go, your website is important. Uh, okay, our website is www.fxkampala.com. Okay, that's easy. Mm. Thank you, viewers. We, ho we hope you added value to you on this holiday. That was the link. Thank you for joining us tonight.